His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the President of the current session of the Arab Summit and the accompanying delegation arrived in the Chinese capital Beijing on a state visit at the invitation of the President of China, Xi Jinping. During the visit, His Majesty the King will hold talks with the President focusing on further supporting and enhancing historical relations and developing strategic cooperation between the two countries as well as the latest regional and international developments. His Majesty will also participate in the opening ceremony of the 10th Ministerial Meeting of the China-Arab States Cooperation Forum. Upon arrival, His Majesty the King was received by the Minister of Education of China, Huai Jinping, the Ambassador of Bahrain to China, Dr. Mohammed Ghassan Adnan Sheikho, the Chinese Ambassador to Bahrain, Ni Ruchi, Honorary Consul of Bahrain to Hong Kong, Oscar Chow, Honorary Vice Consul of Bahrain to Hong Kong, Evan Tam, the First Assistant Honorary Consul of Bahrain to Hong Kong, Olivia Cheng, and members of the Bahraini Embassy. His Majesty the King had uh, departed uh, the kingdom earlier today. His Majesty the King arrived in China following an invitation by the Chinese president which reflects the strong historical ties between the two countries. More in this report with Mohammed Youssef. The Bahraini-Chinese relations are characterized by the depth of cooperation and friendship between the two countries, which have witnessed remarkable developments since the visit of His Majesty the King to China in 2013, a visit that witnessed expanded discussions, adding distinct political and economic dimensions to the bilateral cooperation between the two friendly countries, especially in the political, economic and investment fields, during which many agreements and memorandums of understanding were signed in several fields. The visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the president of the current session of the Arab Summit to China, came following an invitation from the Chinese President Xi Jinping to participate in the opening session of the Arab-Chinese Cooperation Forum, which marks a new stage in the process of close relations between the two friendly countries, which dates back to more than 35 years, since the beginning of the diplomatic relations, which are based on mutual respect and a sincere desire to build a model of bilateral cooperation that serves common interests. The visit of His Majesty the King to China is of great importance, as it comes in the wake of the 33rd Arab Summit hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain, which sheds light on international and regional issues, especially in light of the development that the Palestinian cause is going through as a result of the war on Gaza and the increasing pace of disputes, conflicts and wars in many regions of the world, and therefore it is expected that the visit and the meeting between His Majesty the King and the Chinese President will witness a strengthening of the distinguished bilateral relations and coordination in positions towards various issues. The visit will also include attending the 10th Ministerial Conference of the China-Arab Cooperation Forum, where the forum seeks to bring peace to the Palestinian cause and support the two-state solution. The participation of Arab leaders in the forum is a message to confirm positions and strengthen relations with China, which in turn seeks to engage more with political issues in the Middle East region. The visit of His Majesty the King to China carries important dimensions that highlight the Kingdom of Bahrain's efforts to enhance relations with world countries and cooperate to achieve peace in the region and the world. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. And to speak more about that, we are joined by our news reporter, Mohammed Youssef. Hello, Mohammed. Can you please tell us about the aim of the His Majesty the King's visit to China? Yes, I am here in China as His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in China where the visit will include His Majesty's participation in the 10th Ministerial Conference of the China-Arab Cooperation Forum. In addition to his meeting with the Chinese President Xi Jinping, the meeting will include discussing regional and international issues in addition to signing many agreements and memorandums of understanding which will strengthen bilateral relations between the two countries. 
More details to follow, but now it's back to you. Thank you, Mohammed. Bahraini's relations are moving towards further growth and development thanks to the progress witnessed in bilateral cooperation at all levels. Mutual visits between the two sides also contributed to this development through discussing joint cooperation and signing many agreements and memorandums of understanding. More in this report. Based on mutual respect and common interests, the Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to build cooperation and establish partnerships with various countries. Cooperation relations extend to Far East Asia, specifically China. The mutual visits made by His Majesty the King and the President of China had a significant impact in strengthening these relations as China is Bahrain's third largest trading partner and the largest source of imports. This cooperation resulted in Bahrain playing an important role in strengthening relations between GCC countries and China. The kingdom also sought to activate the free trade agreement negotiations between the two countries. In July 2018, Bahrain and China signed a Memorandum of Understanding to cooperate in the Belt and Road Initiative. In October 2023, Bahrain and China signed a Memorandum of Understanding for cooperation in the field of tourism. Bahrain is currently developing plans and strategies to attract Chinese tourists and investors. It has already attracted some of the biggest Chinese names to Bahrain, including Huawei and the Chinese International Marine Container Company, CIMC. Various fields have strengthened cooperation for more than 35 years between the two friendly countries. Regarding the medical sector, Bahrain was among the first countries to approve the emergency use of Chinese-made vaccines as part of its fight against the spread of COVID-19. The Kingdom of Bahrain always contributes to supporting solidarity and the efforts of the international community to enhance international peace and security and to address global challenges according to a framework based on respect and non-interference in the affairs of states. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 30 of the year 2024 restructuring the Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority BTEA based on a proposal by the Minister of Tourism. The BTEA Board of Directors will be reconstituted, chaired by the Minister of Tourism and include the following members. The President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities BACA, the CEO of BTEA, the Assistant Undersecretary for Commercial Registration and Companies at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce. The Executive Director of Tourism, Education and Healthcare Investments at Bahrain EDB. The CEO of Gulf Air. The Chairman of the BCCI Hospitality and Tourism Committee. The Managing Director of Local Impact Investments at Mumtalakat. The term of membership in the board shall be four years and is renewable for a similar period. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister issued Edict 31 of the year 2024, appointing a director at the Ministry of Transportation and Communication based on proposals by the Minister of Transportation and Communication. Fadwa Abdelaziz Yagoub Zaid shall be appointed as the director of the Land Transportation Projects Directorate at the Ministry of Transportation and Communications. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also edict is issued Edict 32 of the year 2024, appointing a director at the Urban Planning and Development Authority based on a proposal by the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning. Maryam Ali Mohammed Al Amr shall be appointed as Director of Urban Studies and Policies Directorate at the Urban Planning and Development Authority. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister issued Edict 33 of the year 2024, appointing directors at the Prime Minister's Office PMO based on the proposal of the Director General of the PMO. The following shall be appointed at the Prime Minister's office. Isa Ibrahim al Barki shall be appointed as Director of the Government Service Quality Directorate. Shaheen Abdullah al Mdahki shall be appointed as Director of the Operations Directorate. And Maryam Mansour Khazrouli shall be appointed as Director of the Projects Directorate. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with several Arab Ministers of Information Affairs who took part in the 54th session of the Arab Information Ministers Council meeting hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain. The ministers conveyed the greetings of the leaders of their countries to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and to His Royal Highness in turn. His Royal Highness conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and his greetings to the leaders of the Arab countries. His Royal Highness expressed his aspirations that the meeting outcomes would foster great integration and collaboration among Arab 
Arab countries advancing collective goals. His Royal Highness affirmed the pivotal role of the media sector in supporting wide-ranging development efforts. His Royal Highness highlighted the media's responsibility to uphold regional and global security and stability by providing accurate, credible and objective information on various issues and challenges. His Royal Highness noted the importance of strengthening Arab media cooperation to support growth and development across Arab countries to achieve the aspirations of citizens in line with the visions of Arab leaders. For their part, the Arab Ministers of Information Affairs expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness, noting their appreciation of his unwavering support for joint Arab collaboration across various fields. They concluded by wishing Bahrain further development and progress. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkin, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and several senior officials also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness, the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Chairman and CEO of the Bachtel Corporation, Brendan Bachtel, at Ghibiya Palace. His Royal Highness affirmed the advanced levels of cooperation between the private sector, Bahrain, and the U.S. based on the agreements and memorandum of understanding signed between the two countries. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of creating investment opportunities that contribute to strategic collaboration and create job opportunities that benefit the kingdom's citizens. His Royal Highness noted the cooperation between Bahrain and and Michelle or cooperation across various vital projects. His Royal Highness reiterated the Kingdom's unwavering commitment to providing an environment that nurtures development, encompasses all the necessary elements for success and attracts investment, thereby solidifying the Kingdom's investment position in the region. For his part, the Chairman of the Bichdel Corporation has also expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's commitment to furthering Bahrain-U.S. investment collaboration and wish Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charity Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkin, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and several senior officials also attended the meeting. Al Dana Drama Awards ceremony and the launch of the Gulf Radio and Television Festival in its 16th session was held under the patronage of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of uh, the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Information Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi, GCC Secretary General Jasim Libdewi and other Arab Ministers of Information and Media attended the ceremony. His Highness congratulations 
congratulated the winners of Eldana Drama Award, expressing his appreciation for their role and contributions to elevating the Arab drama through their works. His Highness said that arts are a reflection of societies, adding that the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister has been committed to supporting arts to highlight the Bahraini identity and values and a contributor to sustainable development. His Highness emphasized the importance of festivals and awards in celebrating the efforts of pioneering and young artists and as a platform for opportunities in enhancing expertise, exchanging expertise. His Highness praised the efforts of the Ministry of Information and the Gulf Radio and Television in organizing the festival and the award. His Highness also lauded the efforts of the jury. His Highness met with several Arab artists and lauded the success of their careers through their works, which are admired on a regional level. He wished the artists further success in the future. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning and Delmon Gate Real Estate Company announced the start of construction work on the 131st housing unit project in Sinman City, which is included in the projects of the Government Land Development Rights Program in partnership with the private sector. The project was launched in the presence of the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Ramehi, Chairman of the Board of Directors of Delmon Gate, Abdel Ali, and a number of senior officials. The Housing Minister stressed that the inauguration of the housing units comes in line with the Ministry's plan to expand the implementation 
implementation of projects included in the government land development rights program to include all governors adding that the ministry has recently issued tenders for the implementation of al bahir and Hurad Senate projects which are scheduled to enter into implementation during the next phase noting that the ministry is preparing to offer other phases for his part the chairman of the board of directors of Delman Gate praised the cooperation with the public sector to implement this project and the support and facilities the company received to implement the project he stressed that the company aims to make this project a successful model to be followed in the implementation of future projects The Minister of Sustainable Development and Chief Executive Officers of, Officer of the Bahrain Economic Development Board, Noor bint Ali Al-Khlaif, and a number of senior officials and ministers from the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC, and Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, attended the ASEAN and GCC Business and Investment Summit, which was held in Riyadh. The Minister of Sustainable Development attended a session that focused on exploring the trade and investment opportunities between the GCC and ASEAN countries in several sectors, in addition to discussing mechanisms for strategic strengthening ties between countries in line with the framework of cooperation between both countries for the next four years. The session reviewed the ongoing partnership and initiatives to enhance bilateral cooperation in addition to examining the role of the private sector in encouraging the development of a more supportive investment environment in order to achieve the well-being of all parties. She expressed Bahrain's commitment to strengthening the solid partnerships built by the GCC and ASEAN countries, adding that Bahrain launched an economic recovery plan in the last quarter of 2021 with the aim of encouraging recovery in the wake of the pandemic as the plan sought to focus on attracting investments to strategic sectors in the kingdom. The Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi, received GCC Secretary General Jassim Mohammed Libdewi on the occasion of his visit to Bahrain to participate in the meetings of the 54th session of the Arab Information Minister's Council meeting and the 16th Gulf Radio and Television Festival. During the meeting, the Information Minister praised the efforts of the GCC Secretary General in enhancing the process of joint Gulf action, which contributes to achieving the aspirations of the GCC leaders for greater integration and coordination in various fields. He expressed his appreciation for the keenness of the GCC in consolidating the media cooperation frameworks among the GCC countries and support for the initiatives aimed at advancing the media in the GCC, enhancing its role and contribution in the development and progress of its countries, and preserving the authentic Gulf identity. The GCC Secretary General expressed his sincere thanks and appreciation to the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King for supporting the process of joint uh, Gulf action and the Kingdom's efforts. He stressed that Bahrain achieved remarkable success during this month and hosting many major events, including the 33rd Arab Summit, the current meeting of the 54th session of the Arab Information Minister's Council and the 16th Gulf Radio and Television Festival. He added that the success represents a source of pride and honor for all the GCC countries, which reflects the capabilities of Bahrain. On the sidelines of the 16th Gulf Radio and Television Festival, the production market for the festival has been unveiled. The production market is a vital opportunity to introduce the most important productions of Gulf media institutions. It opens the way for joint production agreements and marketing television and radio products in the participating countries. The market celebrates media creativity and motivates creators to continue working in accordance with the highest levels of professionalism and excellence and to enhance joint Gulf media cooperation. It plays an important role role in exchanging expertise and experiences between media institutions in the region. The festival is an ideal opportunity to highlight the achievements made by the media industry in the Gulf countries with its advanced infrastructure, flexible regulatory environment, creative talents and distinguished media production. The Gulf joint market represents one of the best media excellence forms and a platform for highlighting the artistic and technical achievements witnessed by radio and television production in the Gulf and the Arab region. It provides the opportunity to learn about quality qualitative and new experiences in the sector and to establish new partnerships with production companies. Seminars and workshops were also held as part of the 16th Gulf Radio and Television Festival and the second Gulf Media Forum under the title Digital Media Credibility and the Positive Impact of Gulf Drama Between Two Generations. The participants in a seminar and the speakers in a seminar on digital media credibility and positive impact affirmed that credibility and positive impact are two key factors for the success of media work, especially digital work. 
The Arab countries are striving to achieve all sustainable development goals as DGs through media and achieving them requires unified Arab media efforts in which the media message is unified and addressed at all categories. Achieving SDGs is a joint and collective effort between institutions and individuals in society. Raising awareness through Arab media requires unifying the Arab media message to achieve the SDGs, especially in light of the challenges that the Arab countries are facing, taking into account that the level of achievement of the goal differs from one country to another. Unifying the media message and media awareness highlights successful experiences at the national level, spreading into other Arab countries so that the media message contributes to accelerating the progress of Arab countries. Achievements of SDGs unifying the media message on SDGs is vital as a result of the challenge of delivering the media message to everyone in the Arab world due to the difficulty of accessing information for some small groups within society, such as residents of remote areas and the diversity of audience groups who require clear and simple information. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhru, held a meeting with Chinese Assistant Minister of Commerce, Tang Wenghong. Fakhru hailed the development of relations between Bahrain and China, pointing to the importance of consolidating aspects of cooperation to benefit both countries. The ministers discussed a number of topics related to promoting bilateral trade and expanding investment opportunities between the two countries, in addition to reviewing opportunities in trade sectors and exchanging experiences and technologies in areas of common interest. Within the framework of the visit of the Minister of Industry and Commerce to China, the Chinese Assistant Minister of Commerce stressed keenness to develop aspects of commercial cooperation with Bahrain and advancing mutual coordination to achieve common aspirations. The second uh, deputy speaker of the Shura Council, Dr. Jihad Al Fadl, participated in the Arab report on the periodic review of the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action after 30 years, which was organized in Jordan. Dr. Al Fadl has affirmed that the legislative, executive, and judicial constitutional authorities in Bahrain demonstrate continuous cooperation and joint work to implement advanced civilizational initiatives in the field of gender equality and the empowerment and leadership of women and implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King. Dr. Al Fadl said that Bahrain adheres to the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action, taking into account social specifications when conducting reviews and evaluations. She hailed the government's commitment led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to support the empowerment and leadership of women in various aspects of the government work with the effort of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, headed by Her Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the SCW. The Tender Board has won the Excellence Award in the Values and Ethics and Procurement category from the Chartered Institute of Procurement and Supply. The award was received by the Secretary General of the Tender Board, Engineer Jamal Al Alawi, during the CIPS Amina Conference and Excellence in Procurement Awards, which was held in Riyadh in the presence of specialists and decision makers in the field of procurement, supply chain, in the government and private sector, and regional and international specialized technical system companies interested in the sector.